hello friends welcome back to online mass up so we are going to be solving this uh, problem we are seeing on the screen so the question is saying 5 power x plus 6 is equal to 6 power x plus 5 and so we're just expected to find the value of x that will actually make this equation to hold okay so that's what we're going to be doing in this video but just before we proceed, if you are new to our channel, do well to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content, you actually get to know about it. And of course, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And then hit the like button even as we proceed with this video. Okay, so having said that, we're going to proceed right away. So let me just start by writing solution. And then writing the question, I have 5 power x plus 6 is equal to 6 power x plus 5. Okay, so the, the first thing I'm going to do is just to utilize one of the rules of indices, which basically say that if you have a power x plus, let's say, y, you can actually write this as a power x and then multiply by a power y so i'm going to be utilizing this and of course if you also have it in this format you can also rewrite it in this one so if i utilize this rule right here i'm going to be having that the left hand side here now changes to 5 power x and then multiply by 5 power 6 okay and of course using the same rule on the right hand side i'm going to be having these to be 6 power x and then multiply by 6 power 5. so the next thing i want to do is actually to divide through by 6 power x and then of course i will also want to eliminate this uh, 5 uh, power 6 on the left hand side so that i can actually have the ones that contain x on one side and then the uh, the one that doesn't contain x on the other side so what i'm going to do is i'll divide through by 6 power x and then 6 power x and of course i will also divide through by this 5 power 6 5 power 6 okay so that way this is actually going to cancel this and this will cancel this so what i now have left is 5 power x divided by 6 power x is equal to 6 power 5 divided by 5 power 6. Good. So I've been able to collect like terms on one side. Okay, so since x is common here, I can actually write this as 5 divided by 6 and then all power x. Okay, is equal. I'm going to leave this one as it is. Okay. That is 6 power 5 divided by 5 power 6. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is uh, to take the log of both sides so that I can actually be able to bring it down this uh, x right here. So if I take the log of both sides, that is log of uh, 5 divided by 6 or power x is equal to log of uh, 6 power 5 divided by 5 power 6 okay so utilizing one of the rules utilizing a rule which basically say that if you have log let's say b power a you can actually write this as a bringing out this a you write a log b okay so i'm gonna apply that here so that this uh, the left hand side now changes to x log 5 over 6 is equal to so what i have here is log 6 for 5 and then divided by 5 for 6 okay so the next thing i want to do is to split this you know one of the properties of log reading uh, basically is that if we have log of a divided by b you can actually write this as log a and then minus log b okay so i'm going to utilize this both on the right hand side and also on the left hand side so if i put that if i utilize that property here i'm going to be having uh, that the left hand side now changes to x into so i have log 5 
minus log 6 okay and then of course it's equal to if I apply the same rule right here I'm gonna be having a uh, log 6 power 5 minus log 5 power 6 to apply this property uh, to simplify the left hand to, to simplify the right hand side so that I'm gonna be having that this uh, is equal to x into log 5 minus log 6 okay is equal to so I'm gonna bring down this one so I have 5 log 6 minus and then 6 log 5 okay so next i will divide through by the coefficient of x so that I can actually get the value of x so the coefficient of x here is log 5 minus log 6 okay and then i will also divide this side by log 5 minus log 6 so this is actually going to cancel this and then the value for x now becomes x is equal to 5 log 6 minus 6 log 5 all divided by log 5 minus log 6 this is actually going to be the value of x and of course if you compute all of this in your calculator you're going to be having final value of x so if you have enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more updates and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye